Quick dev tip. Did you know that you could edit multiple things at one time using the property matrix? So an example of where this would be useful would be, here's a texture. It's currently set to the world texture group, but I, I need it to be UI, so I can change that to UI. So I could go into these individually and make that setting. Alternatively, if I select them, right click, asset actions, and I go down to bulk edit via property matrix here. A lot of information shown, but basically these are all the settings that you can see in here. But if we roll down here, we can go to texture group, which is what we want to change. You can see it says multiple values, and you can see here, this is the one that we've changed currently, and these are the other ones. So we click on the texture group, and we go UI. So that sets all of them to UI. An interesting thing to note here is that, so the ones that exist right now here are the ones that are pinned. So we can unpin these to make a, things a bit cleaner, and just leave the texture group that we want. So now if we go back into any of these, you'll see that they say the texture group has been changed to UI. As you can imagine, this is super useful if you've got a lot. So if I bring in some more, imagine this is all the, all the textures I'm gonna need for my UI. So I've got 46 items here. Doing this through the property matrix is gonna save me so much time. Select them, texture group, UI. And as you can see, they've changed to UI texture group. 46 items done very quickly. So this is useful in a bunch of different places. Balancing, I use it a lot for UI and sound. So if we go to sound, for example, if I take these guys, right click again, asset actions, and I go down to the property matrix. In this case, uh, I'm just after the class here. So this is just set to default. So we can go sound and I can change the group and the class to effects very quickly. So this is also really useful for balancing. Imagine you've got a bunch of weapons or a bunch of pickups and you want to sort of compare them and then balance them. Seeing them all next to each other is a great way to do it.